It's the FA Cup of Arts. We are live here at the Reebok Stadium in Bolton and uh, we've had plenty of entertainment so far. We'll be speaking to Dennis Priestley in a couple of moments time. Let's quickly round up what's been happening out and about. Board seven, Shane Passy, bad boy playing good darts, his first major beating qualifier, Joe Barter. This is over on board eight. Well, that was a nice finish, wasn't it? Sam Rooney, last year's most successful amateur, beating poultry farmer, Richie Gow. On board three, Martin Burchill making his debut in a major, doing a job on Darren Sutton. Well done, Martin. You were five one up there, but then just couldn't quite get over the line. Oh, just couldn't hit the trebles. It's uh, pretty nerve-wracking the first round in, mm. in any tournament, but uh, is that what happens? You get you get close to it and start thinking about it too much. Yeah, you're thinking about what's going on around you, and instead of concentrating, you're constantly telling yourself. Look at the treble, you know, look at the, forget what's going on around you and... Well, you hit it in the end. Well, I hit it in the end, yeah. yeah, yeah. It yeah. took a while, but... Yeah, 6-3. OK, cause... I should be comfortable for the next round now. Because I remember Rewind 12 months ago, and it was you, Big Cliff Lazarenko, with everyone hollering and shouting like mad behind you. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's, and I went into that game thinking, oh, I'm going to beat Cliff, you know, overconfident and what, what a guy. He, um, no. he, he's a brilliant person and... Uh, we all love I, Big I'm, Cliff. Yeah, I, I was, I'm, in a way, in hindsight, I was glad I didn't win. It was, it was nice for him to, now he's gone on to other things, so. All right, but tonight it's all about you. Well That's done. It. Thank you. Well done. Cheers. And quickly whiz you over to board number four. Dan Timmings, the bin man from Scarborough. A whitewash victory for him. Well done, Dan. I hear it was a 13 darter to take that first leg. Yeah, I won't fire off weight. What do you mean you weren't far off? No, you either is or it isn't. 13 out. That's got to do a lot for your confidence. Yes, I was happy to get that well on the first one. Came along and watched a little bit at the end of the match, and I've got to say, your regulation dart shirt is a bit on the large side for you. Well, that's for a small, and there wasn't any left, apparently. This, this, is, this is small in darts world, isn't it? Do you think, I mean, the further you go in the tournament, do you think you'll be able to get yourself sorted out with one that actually fits you? I don't know, I'll see. <laughs> see if there's any left first. All right, well done. You're through to the next round. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Good done. And uh, delighted to say, Dennis Priestley made his way uh, into the studio. Dennis, congratulations. Good to see you looking so well and playing pretty well as well. Well, I don't know. That, that game, you know, first game, it's a little bit, you know, a little bit of a struggle. Um, but it's always, it's a cliche, isn't it? Always try to get the first game out at road and then try and uh, improve on it, and hopefully I will. There's, there's pressure on you boys, the guys with big reputations. You're there to be shot down, really, aren't you, in this competition? Oh, yeah, but uh, it's their opportunities as well to get, you know, uh, to get a step up on ladder. I mean, if um, young Danny had beat me there, I mean, it'd been, been a great boost for his career. Um, and I'm thinking, same, uh, if he beats me, then I'm looking like a... A lemon, you know. So I mean, yeah, there is, there is that pressure, Dave. Yeah. Robert Thornton only just going through against know, Anastasia. Yeah, what a good performance game, yeah. from her. Yeah, yeah, fantastic uh, performance. The quality of, of the field, 134 players, doesn't get any easier this game, does it? No, it doesn't get any easier simply because um, you know the the packs come come uh, up to the uh, up to the standard of the uh, some of the pros and. Uh, and it's showing when when we play games like this. You know, it's uh, they've, they've a lot, to, they've, they've nothing to lose and a lot to gain, and uh, some come through very well. Uh, you got Mick McGowan out on board four. Yeah. Uh, is that difficult playing on the outside boards for you? Well, I mean, it's, it's obviously nice, nice to play up on on the major stage. Um, there's, there's not as many distractions or anything like that, but. No, I mean, I've, all the time I've been playing Bolton, I've, uh, that's only the second time I've played on uh, on board one, and first time what well, well against Phil Taylor, so, no, I mean, it'll, uh, it'll not do me any harm. And is it a, a well, Dennis Priestley, how, how are you getting on with your, your illness? Um, well, thanks for asking, Dave. I, I go for some more blood tests at end of June, and, and I meet the specialist again on 15th of July, and if I get the same results as the, uh, as, as the last test I have, I'll be very, very happy. So, you know, I just 
Keep your fingers crossed. We do as well. Yeah. Good to see you. Thank you. Best of luck for the uh, remainder. We'll see you again Thanks, a little cheers. bit later on. Uh, loads more from the UK Open to come, including the man who made it all the way to the World Championship final. He's up next. Yeah.